Welcome to a Besto TV production. If you enjoy our content, please click the subscribe button. To get notifications of new releases, ring that bell. Thank you, and away we go. Creative continuity. We bring the convention to you. This is Mr. Lobo, and I'm here at the OSI booth with one of the biggest stars, if not the biggest, certainly the tallest star on OSI 74 and the universe, Sleazy P. Martini. Hello, patrons of my films. Thanks for uh, being with us, Sleazy. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here with all the Bubba Fats and the, uh, you know, Harlequins and all the other sad, sad people who are still trying to be teenagers. Yes, yes. Well, you know, uh, as long as they have uh, bring money the, to the table, right? It's, yeah, it's okay, well, right? I don't, I, you know, uh, they haven't, and so uh, I hate them. Yeah, there's no way to sugarcoat this nut log that will make you think it's a baby Ruth bar. It just isn't. But that's okay, right? Old Sleazy will help you get through this root canal of a movie. And although, if you have any anesthetic, I recommend you double your usual dosage and begin application immediately. I mean, obviously, almost everyone knows who you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're ex extremely famous. Uh, tell us uh, uh, your association with the intergalactic, are the intergalactic rock band Guar? Yes. Or, they are. Are they from space? Well, uh, originally, yes. However, when I discovered them, they were frozen in Antarctica. They had been there for a million years. The master had entombed them to uh, protect the planet and save them for the great uh, battle that was uh, forthcoming with uh, Cardinal Sin. However, well, I was on the run from the IRS and uh, my helicopter crashed and I was looking for shelter and I stumbled into their tomb and I found them frozen like uh, chicken pot pies, four for a buck. I thawed them out with a uh, little microwave action from the uh, missing ozone. It's, uh, as you know, has bounced off of my... Well, uh, I'm glad that the missing ozone is finally good for something. It's good for something. It bounced yeah. off my uh, mirror disco suit and... And so, so Guar thought out uh, mm -hmm. these kind of uh, mm -hmm. prehistoric intergalactic, mm -hmm. and, and then who taught them to play music? Well, they wanted to kill me initially. Oh, okay. Yeah, they wanted to kill me. I was uh, a defiler of the tomb. However, just in time, a bunch of crack fell out of my pocket, and they just started following me around ever since then. So I took them back to New York. I put them down in front of a TV set, and... Um, yeah, they watched MTV until they could speak the language at least as well as George Bush Jr. Well, that's all the few people here at MTV. I mean, this is the only show that's got the guts to have Guar on it. Guar unplugged. It's going to be great. <laughs> we'll be back with more Guar and Headbangers Ball. <laughs> Stick around. Wow, so they learned how to talk watching MTV? Passably, yes. They did, yes, yes. That's unbelievable. And right. so, and then did they learn music watching MTV too? Well, they learned wrestling first. Oh, wrestling. Yeah, yeah. I took them into, uh, to, to, to try out uh, as wrestlers, uh, they didn't understand how to throw a match. Uh -huh. They knew how to uh, kill people, but uh -huh. uh, they didn't know the, understand the concept of, you know. So they're, they're, what? they're what, professional mass murderers or engineered mass murderers? Well, I mean, you know, they're ugly, stupid, untalented. I figured it was either wrestling or rock and roll. Yeah. And once wrestling yeah. was a failure, then we transitioned into rock and roll. People think of war, they think of a couple of characters, but there's quite a few characters. Yes, it's true. In 1986, we had initial lineup of Gladys Maximus, uh, Ballsack, the Jaws of Death, Niplius Erecticus, he's gone. I think he could dissolve into a bucket of acid. He didn't understand what acid was. He thought it was a drug. Uh, in fact, it was not. <laughs> and uh, Wrong acid. Yeah, wrong acid. He got that completely wrong. Uh, we also had Odorous uh -huh. Urongus, uh -huh. and... Um, 
Who else? Uh, oh, I don't know. I forgot his name already. Uh -huh. Who cares, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. You know? Just a bunch of guys. They're furry and covered yeah. with spikes. Yeah. And they bang on instruments. The crowd loves them. They do. They do. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of people here who've come to, they're buying the Guar stuff. A lot of them, I think, uh, probably first saw Guar maybe like on Jerry Springer or right. maybe Joan Rivers' show like don't, in the 90s, right? Don't, don't forget uh, Beavis and Butthead. Beavis and Butthead. Were you guys yeah. ever like on Arsenio Hall? Uh, not that I no, know. No, 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 no. I just, I don't know. I, I, I just remember you guys were on TV a lot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I mean. No, we were on TV once and then we just ran in repeats and uh, reruns forever. That's, that's really what happened. <laughs> remember the name for your games, Circuit City! A little too subversive. Yeah. You know, did, was there ever any allegations that, you know, my kid listened to a Guar album and went crazy and wanted to kill his parents or well, any of that kind of stuff? As a matter of fact, uh, we shipped quite a few albums of Toilet Earth initially, and then um, we did, uh, you know, uh, Walmart happened to notice one of the song titles, which was Baby D and, uh, you know, no sense of humor whatsoever. 40,000 copies are shipped right back. And uh, sales have been in the toilet ever since. But who cares? <laughs> We're alive act. Totally new for all you kids. When you're done playing with all your toys, put them away. When you're finished coloring with all your crayons, put them away. When you're oh, this is the worst thing I've ever heard! Both ways. La, 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 yeah, I'll show you. So Walmart didn't like that, huh? You no, know? no sense of humor whatsoever. Pedophilia hasn't gone mainstream yet. Not yet, but Hollywood just keeps trying. Yeah, they're gonna push it. Oh, that your fans come to get killed? Uh, no, they don't. No. Well, yeah, I guess they do. They do. Uh, they do. Now, I mean, now do they just? We don't do, tell them. Do they love music or hate given. themselves? Both. Oh, both. 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 Oh, okay. They hate themselves, but want to hear themselves killed in a lovely, lovely death metal soundtrack. And are are, are war cannibals? Do you save the bits after the show? Why? Well, uh, yeah. Of course, they're cannibals. They're also uh, necrophiliacs and uh, drug addicted. Uh, you know, monsters. However, not all of it gets eaten. No? No, no. So I uh, often go uh, uh, front uh, front stage after the show. Uh, we've got some body recycling machines uh, that uh, little claws that pull the meat from the bone. Uh, I have a dog food uh, company that's processed through. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, uh, and then uh, the jewelry is separated and, uh, I take that and uh, to the local pawn shop after every show. That seems very efficient. It is very efficient. Mm -hmm. No, waste not, want not. Money, Certainly. money, uh, you know, for ticket sales is not enough. You gotta do, you gotta think about all these things. Merchandise, recycling. Good job, guys, good job. However, we needed you to run through it one more time and try to take out the sucky part. Damn, what part was that? All of it! Sometimes you perform with Guar as well as manage them, I right? do. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes uh, the lead singer gets a little tired and I'll walk out there and do a little rap. How many songs do you have with Guar? Two. Two? That's all they let me do. Only Just two. two. They're, they're great ones. Yeah, right? I know. Everybody, I tried, I tried everybody to be, else off. I tried to be mediocre once. Yeah. I just couldn't do it. <laughs> Not only is he the manager of Guar, uh, an international star, mm. and a, a rock legend in his own right, he is now also stepping into my turf and hosting movies and probably a little better at it. Yeah, you've been a real inspiration to me, Mr. Lobo. I saw, well, if he can do it, anybody can. John Carradine reciting Shakespeare in a Filipino horror movie? In case some of you thought you had accidentally tuned into PBS, don't worry. It's all culturally downhill from here. Vampire hookers. Isn't that term redundant? I'm not talented enough to be a musician. Neither am I. But you're... <laughs>
<laughs> but I am talented enough to rip them off. You, but and you're certainly a talented enough to 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 rip me off. Yeah, I'm talented enough to rip them off, and yeah. I'm talented enough to pay for the hotel damages. It, it is it is the crudest and the smartest show on the whole. How channel. does that work? I don't know, but it does. You make it work. Yeah. But not only can you see it there, you can get Guar TV now for That's your Roku. That's true. So Guar please, TV. Please, this is your brainchild, right? Guar That's right. TV. That's so right. Tell us about Guar, Guar TV. Well, uh, hanging out with you, Mr. Smythe, I said, I'm going to rip this guy off. and uh, I could do this better. Yeah. And so uh, I created uh, Guar TV. It's going to be a Roku channel. It is a Roku channel, actually. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you want the download code, go to guatv.com. Get your Roku first. Don't forget to get a Roku. They're only 30 bucks, you cheap bastards. Mm -hmm. So no excuses. Uh, there will be a subscription service later. So if you just don't want to watch, you know, commercial laden uh, 12 hours, you can watch 150, I don't know how many hours. Binge plus. watch, just binge watch the crap out of all those. So shows. much stuff. So like what, concerts, videos? Yeah, what? yeah. Li uh, 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 special features, uh, new content, uh, interviews, um, behind the scenes, all kinds of stuff. Flooding the world with filth. Wah TV is on the air. If you want to buy some merchandise from me, I'll be hanging out at the Crispy Chicken at four in the morning with my friends. Just drive by and uh, roll down your window. I'll be there. Uh, but if you don't want to do that, you can also order through my website, hyperrealproductions.com. And I'm stupid enough to misspell hyperreal so that nobody can find the website. It's okay. very exclusive. It's one off. Well, thank, thank you so much for t talking a little bit about uh, music and guar and sleazy pictures after dark and guar TV. And thank you for continuing to be with us at OSI 74, we look we look forward to more from you. Thank you for thanking me, Alan. Uh, I'd like to thank myself, and because uh, I don't get enough thanks. So thanks for classing up uh, our operation, Sleazy. Uh, thank you for watching this interview. This is Mr. Lobo signing off with Sleazy P. Martini. All systems go. Watch Creative Continuity, Cosmos, Con Rewind, Mr. Lobo Does, and more on this channel. Creative Continuity, we bring the convention to you.